Hi guys, so I am back and I just figured that um, I'm in the middle of a project and I am going to need a little journal to go into my big journal, but I want that little journal to be covered in fabric. Now, um, I get the heat and bond from Amazon. Walmart sells it, but I like to get it at in Amazon because I get a big roll for a good price. So I'm going to show you how I do it really quick. So this comes in a roll. Let me cut off a piece first. And I'm not going to need a big piece because I'm going to be using, um, it's just going to be a little journal. Okay, so I'm going to need a little piece. So the heat and bond, you'll see that it has a smooth side, which is like a you know the paper, and then it has a bumpy side, which is where the glue is at. Okay, so I put a towel down, and what I like to do is I like to take my fabric, you know, just a little piece of fabric, and I like to iron it. And this is my craft iron. But I don't like to. And I'm just going oh, to. What is going on? I don't like to um, iron straight on the fabric because it is my fa craft. It is my craft iron. So I put a piece of wax paper just so I don't get it. I don't get no kind of glue or anything on it, and I iron on that. Just in case the iron is, you know, got any kind of residue or anything. So once I do that, then I take my heat and bond. And I gotta make sure my fabric is wrong side up because you want your pretty side, though you know the, the side that you want on your journal facing down. Okay? So, I'm going to take the bumpy side of the heat and bond and I'm going to lay it on the fabric, the wrong side of the fabric or the back side of the fabric. And then I'm going to just iron that on. And I want to say maybe, I don't know, a few seconds just to melt that glue onto the back side of the fabric. Okay. And that's really hot, so we'll leave that there. We just want to get that glue on the fabric. Meanwhile, I'm going to get a piece of cardstock because I want for my journal. Let's see. I think I want like a pink cardstock for my little journal. Working on a kitty cat journal. So cute. Yep, I use this. I should have cut it first though. Sorry, I was totally unprepared. I was just gonna in the middle of doing it and I'm like, you know what? Let me just record it because so I think I want my little journal to be five inches. Let's make it five and a half inches. Five and a half inches. And perhaps outside. Sorry guys, I should have had this ready. Okay. 
So I want my journal to be about that size, okay? So now this is um, ready. So now what you do is you just peel this back. And that's trash. And now you have, see how glossy it is? That's your glue. The glue is on your fabric now. So I'm just going to measure out because I could use the rest for tags or, you know, or something. I'm just going to measure out how much I want. I think I want it. Mm. Just going to cut around it and then I'll just trim. Just going to rough cut and then I'll just trim. That's all. Put this around. Put this away. So, just cut this off too. My little piece of fabric. Alright, so now we have the glue. Now, I'm going to center this, flip it, and I'm going to get my piece of wax paper. Put that there and heat it. Flip it around again and give it a little bit more heat. Do it again. I love using this um, heat and bond because you don't get the wrinkles from the glue, it's not messy. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, missing spots or, you know, you just get that clean, all around, nice, um, you know, adhered finish. You see that? See how, um, how perfectly glued that is, you know? And then I just go around and cut the excess off. I love it, and I love it for lace, you know. It just adheres so good. That's what I use to adhere lace, to adhere, you know, when I want to cover my my colors with lace or anything, anything, anything I'm going to use to cover, um, you know, my covers for my journals when it's going to be a big, when I want to cover a big area. Because I love it. It just gives you such a smooth and clean application. And wait for it to dry and cool. And there you have it. Now I have my little fabric covered journal. See? Perfect. No buckling, no glue oozing. Um, and this is ready to receive a signature now. You see that? Nice and clean. It's, it's just perfect. So I thought I'd just do a video showing you how I do it and what I use. 
and it's perfect for lace. This is what I use, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Give it a try. Tell me what you think, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.